Okay, welcome back to Hitman for Dummies. We're going for three, counting three achievements. Here we are with the loadout. So what you're going to need is a lockpick. Actually, you don't really need a lockpick. A concealable baton or some sort of melee weapon. And any silenced uh, pistol. Our default location will be the bazaar. As usual, we're going to pick up the brick. We're going to need it to uh, clobber the headmaster. So that's where we're going right now. See his son and the lady friend. We've already been through this a couple of times now, so you know the drill. Make your way up. Take out your brick. And we're going to pick up the key. We're going to take his disguise because. For Headmaster's Revenge, we need to uh, be wearing the disguise. Stump his body in here. I'm not sure if his son ever comes up this way, but uh, better safe than sorry. Now we're going to make our way to the school, so climb up and just go through the ledges one at a time to the pipe so you can uh, slide down. Now crouch down so you don't get seen. We're going to make our way to um, the door on the right. We've been through this a couple of times, like I said, so it should be old hat for you guys. Basically, we're going to do what we uh, have done before is get that officer's uh, uniform. Now to locate General Zaydan. So, doing this guy. And we're going to change our outfit here because we're going to need to get back to the headmaster outfit at the very end, so. We want it as close as possible to that location. Unlock the door, and we're just just like before. We're going to uh, take out the um, the officer first, and the other soldier second. Door always slams in my face. Subdue this guy, and to save some time, use the baton on this fellow. You don't have to walk all the way over there. Subdue him. Of course, we do have to walk over there to pick him up. For some strange reason, I got the scenic route achievement by doing this. I don't know. Maybe you can try. Maybe it'll work for you guys, too. It's kind of strange. I wasn't expecting that. So, change uh, into the officer uniform. And we're going to drag him as well into the... Uh, into. It's not really a crate. It's like a rusty old freezer. Now we're going to Head out and begin down the rabbit hole. The reason why you're in an officer's uniform because the big cannon we're going to use for 50 syndrome, we need to. Um, we salute you, sir. Well, we're going to need to um, look at some schematics, and you can't do that as a regular soldier. So, pass through those guys, turn right. We're going to pass the shoe shop, we'll be going to there later. We're basically trying to get to the uh, the club, I'm getting to the getting towards the club because the uh, down the rabbit hole we have to uh, look at the evacuation plan on the roof of a random building. Makes no sense. Past the club, go this way. We're gonna turn right up the stairs. Now there is a guy in here, but if you just sneak up, you can get past without him spotting you. For some reason, this is a trespassing zone, so be careful. There's one guard and a lady. They're both can turn their back. Glance at the uh, evacuation plan real quick. Now we're going to go back to the shoe shop. So we'll work our way down. Turn left back towards the club. And we're just, you know. Making our way back. Since we're in the officer's uniform, you don't have to worry about sneaking around too much. There's no enforcers around here. Sir. Pass this guy. You're going to trigger these two because we need to trigger that guard to go into the tunnel. I pick up the coins just for the sake of picking up the coins. 
difficult thing to do. Now what you have to do is you, you've triggered the guy in his, in his, his, in his story, so to speak. You don't have to really wait for him, you just... Uh, it's hard to tell exactly if he's going to fulfill his part of the uh, mission story, so... I chose to wait here. I think you do need to s listen to the uh, his second conversation to make it work. It's part of the storyline is to um, follow this guy in, and if you do anything to him before he gets to the second guy, you lose the uh, the uh, mission story objective. So, so I just walk down the tunnel. He's gonna stand up there for a little while. I'm not sure why. He'll come down here and stare at the wall for a little while, and I'm not sure why, and then he'll talk to the uh, to the guard that's uh, on our right. Not sure if he's talking to us or if it's the other guy. Ah, there he is coming down the stairs. Once again, we're on that casual difficulty and make it easier on ourselves. I think you're just enough to wait for him to begin his conversation. How you boys holding up down there? Well, and then the next thing you need to do is you need to look at the uh, instructions on how to use the uh, 50 caliber gun. You can only do that by examining this, paper, this piece of paper, and you can't do that in the guard's disguise because that soldier is um, an enforcer, so that's why we have to change into the officer. So we're going to go up here. We're going to also escape in the army truck. So we're going to get the keys. And once again, there's no enforcers in here. We're going around to that group. Uh, same side where you can escape the car in the earlier missions, so you can get to pick up the car, the key card, but you don't need the key card, but that's what I mean, this area. Grab those keys. Now we're going to turn the fire alarm on and then trigger Klaus's escape. Fire alarm is right here. Make sure no one's watching. And then we have to wait for a uh, Close to start heading this way. I chose to stand here and wait. Did a quick search for him. There he is, there he is running. Heads up. We have a situation. Hmm. Takes a takes a couple minutes. Now he doesn't come down the where we the stairs where we uh, where the fire alarm is. He comes down from the uh, double doors that we usually uh, use to get up to him to like, kill him. Chose to move a little more. Quick uh, examination of where he is, and there he is. He's on our level now. And let's just wait for his arrival and sort of escort him to the shoe shop. Now I'm the guard. I'm going to hum to myself. Here he is. So I'll walk slowly. Then catch up. Roaming the tunnels, and all seems a okay down here. Over. Wake up. It's happening. Yes, it is happening. At one point, he's going to actually overtake you and you just run with him. Tunnels are clear, sir. Moving on. Over. No, I go past this guy, but he cuts through the room and heads, uh, heads me off at the pass. Weapons hot. Our weapons are hot. They're not cold, they're hot. Just keep following up to the shoe shop. We're going to get the uh, achievement after a little round of dialogue. And then he's going to head to the to the school to consult with uh, Razor. Razor. Uh, Razor Zidane. Okay, we're here. Now, yes, his name is right there in front of me, Razor Zidane. Just stand here and wait until they um, set up, uh, go to their Man, 
next next level of um, the story, next setting of the story. I start to cool down a bit. Did a little save here, so there's going to be a little cut. I'm going to move them out soon. There's the cut. And once once you leave the um, once he leaves the shoe shop, you get the achievement. Or didn't have to leave the shoe shop. He just. And now we're going to walk towards the school. And here's where we can ditch this uniform for the headmasters, so we can get the headmasters revenge achievement. This is a good disguise, except for the other officers. Most of the soldiers, I don't think any of the soldiers are specifically an uh, enforcer. School's this way. So I turn left. That was left. That was, yeah. Hello, sir. Look past these guys. Strandberg will follow, so you don't have to really stick with them. Run back to uh, the rear section of the school to get their headmaster uniform, and once you put that on, you're in a trespassing zone, so you lose that luxury. So you want to lay low and not be seen. This uh, truck is still what's going to be used as our escape. The controls for the 50 caliber gun will be to the right near the um, near the wall. What's that? computer console you can see right there. So let's just wait for Strandberg to get past. Use the wall and the, as, a, you know, as a shield to not be seen. And here's Reza Zaydan coming out. We're going to start having a little conversation and you're going to blow them all to hell. At Master's Revenge, they killed uh, Zaydan in that suit, and the 50 caliber syndrome. And let's exit, and we're done. That's it. A little, um, it's got a confirmation to get the down the rabbit hole. Get the truck out of here is another bonus one, and there you go. So we're going to move on from Marrakesh now. We're going to start some uh, achievements for um, uh, Bangkok. That will be coming up shortly. And I'll see you next time. Later.